before I take the bracket off here, I'll show you something real quick. You gotta take these bolts off right here, and there's two bolts on the inside. One right there, and I should have like just two right there, and there's two on the very back side. Let me get them. Okay, now I got to be able to see it. One, two. Let's see, can I get it? There you go, there you go. One, and then there's two. And then, then you can take off this bracket. Let's see if this gun can take it. Very good, y'all. Just took out the alternator bracket. I just wanted to show y'all something that I do. Damn, I keep forgetting it from my damn light. Well, hopefully y'all can see. Whenever I take a bolt out or anything like that, I like to put them back exactly where I got it and put a zip tie on it. That way I know exactly where it went. I ain't got to worry about guessing what bolt goes where or anything like that. I just, I just know. But even this pulley, you got to take this off to get to the four mounting bolts behind it. And once I did that, right here. Put them in like that and just put the pulley back on. These aren't on tight. They're just on just to hold it on. That's just something I like to do. Now I'm back. So I just want to give you all some instructions that I'm going to be doing. I'm basically just going to be taking the piping off now. Intake pipe. Here's your crossover. The other uh, horn for the intake. I'm over here. Um, charger, cooler pipe. Disconnect the one over there. Right there, the orange one. Come over here. Eventually, I gotta drain the coolant. Once I do that, I'm gonna take this off. So once I do all of that, and I uh, come back and update y'all further. Back. No, I still ain't take this pipe off yet. I still gotta drain the coolant. The reason why I ain't drain the coolant yet is because for me to drain it, I gotta have it somewhere to put. And right now, we have no empty or clean containers. And the people who are supposed to give them get the coolant and drain it for us didn't come. So we're having an issue. So right now I'm avoiding draining the coolant and I'm gonna get as far as I can before I need to and deal with it then. So basically, so I already started loosening the bolts off here. Right here was a crankcase filter that went back, took that out, um, loosened this valve cover up. So basically I just wanted to let y'all know that uh, I'm basically going to be taking off as much of this side as I can today or however far I get, whatever it is, and then go from there and then worry about getting the cooling out so I can take this out, the cooler, the turbo, and because these lines right here, there's actually coolant ran through them on this area, so I still got to drain it. All I got to do, and this is the pet cop right down here. Where the frick is it? Oh, there it is. I got a light. Right there. I think yeah, it's right there. Cause just put. I got. I need to get a bucket under there and drain it from the engine block, and I'll be good to go to take everything else off. I'll holler at y'all later. My bad, people. I forgot to record. I was in a groove and I just kept moving. But I'll just show y'all. Move the valve covers to. EGR valve, the uh, intake horn, some more pipings. Took off the uh, fuel lines right here. Um, I'll show you all the table, the rockers, and the push rods, all that stuff. It's good, people. Uh, to get these injectors out, you got these two 8 millimeter bolts to hold it down. And uh, also, there are ejector tubes on the side. Over here, I'll show you. Right here. This thing. And this actually lines up with a hole inside the ejector. And that's how it ejects the fuel into there. And this is what holds it down. And I'll show you all. Okay, let me see if I can reach it. Yeah, it ain't much torque on that nut. It's just like I got my Craftsman situation bam that's how we do it i actually forgot to record for y'all so but basically the head is out we all remember i had the whole turbo situation here the coolant pipes right here and everything like that and it's all man pulled out 
I'll show you where I got my oh, custom made bench. So, this is the head. It's not really a bad job. Just heavy. Took this down. This was up here. It was up here. Took that down. Head bolts, these are reusable, but you need to get like a gauge to measure them to make sure they're still usable. Fuel rail over there, some tools that we're using. You know, nothing crazy. Now, it's basically time for cleanup work. So I got my wire wheel, go around. I'm gonna cover this hole up right there. Once I get done wire wearing it, blow out the hole, make sure there's nothing in there. And then uh, prep the new head. I don't even know if we have this here yet, but prep work now.